Hello everyone, let's start with question number 4 of exercise 3.3. So in this, we need to find the values of P in part 1 to 4 and we need to find the value of P and Q in part 5th for the following pair of equations. So from the first part, you can see that we have 3x minus y minus 5 equals 0 and we have 6x minus 2y minus P equals 0 and the condition given here is that the equations are parallel. So when equations are parallel, the condition for equations are parallel is that a1 over a2 is equal to b1 over b2 is not equal to c1 over c2. So let's find out the value for p now. So a1 is 3, a2 is 6, b1 is minus 1, b2 is minus 2, c1 is minus 5, C2 is minus P. So, the last value is not equal to B1 over B2. So, minus minus gets cancelled out here first of all. So, you can see that the first two values are same. That is half. So, I will be taking any two ratios here. But it should have 5 over P as well. So, I am taking the last two ratios. So, it will be 1 over 2 is not equal to 5 over P. So, using cross multiplication here, I get P is not equal to 10. This means that P can take other values, but 10 is not It can take any real value, but it, can, it cannot be equal to 10. So, that's your answer for first part. Now, second part. Second part says that x e minus x plus py equals 1. And px minus y equal 1 if the pair of equation has no solution. So again it is a type of parallel lines. So the condition is a1 over a2, b1 over b2 is not equal to c1 over c2. So a1 is minus 1, a2 is p, b1 is p, b2 is minus 1, c1 over c2, it is 1 over 1. So from this we need to find the value of P. So, I will be taking the first two values, first two ratios first, then I will be taking the second two ratios. So, applying cross multiplication in first two. So, it will be minus 1 over P, P over minus 1. So, minus minus is plus 1, then we have P square using cross multiplication. So p square or p can take two, two different values that is plus 1 and minus 1. Now from the second and third, second and third will be p over minus 1 equal is not equal to 1 over 1. So this will be p equals is not equal to minus 1 into 1. So it will be minus 1. तो इससे हमें यह समझ आया कि जो हमारा p है वो minus one नहीं हो सकता इसका मतलब अब इन दो values को हमें देखना है कि इसमें से क्या होगा minus one तो नहीं है तो ये गया अब हमारे पास क्या बचा सिर्फ p as positive one let's start with the third part now Third part says minus 3x plus 5y equal 7 and 2px minus 3y equal 1. If the lines represented by these equations are intersecting at unique point. So for unique point the condition is a1 over a2 is not equal to b1 over b2. So let's write this down. Minus 3 over 2p is not equal to b1 that is 5 v2 is minus 3. Now using cross multiplication we get my plus 9 is not equal to 10p. So from this we get the value of p as 9 over 10. This means that 9 over 10 ke ilawa, it can take any real value. So you can write that it can take any real value apart from 9 over 10. 
Now moving on to question number four, part four. I mean, so part four says two x plus three y minus five equals zero, and p x minus six y minus eight equals zero. If it has a unique solution again, so unique solution is a one over a two is not equal to b one over b two. A one is two, a two is p. B one is three, B two is minus six. So let's solve this now using cross multiplication. It will be minus twelve, and it will be three p on the right hand side. So it says some idea that we have minus twelve over three is not equal to p. So twelve over three is minus four here. इससे ये समझ आया कि p की वैल्यू हमारी माइनस फोर नहीं हो सकती बट इट कैन टेक एनी अदर रियल वैल्यू फॉर अ यूनिक सॉल्यूशन। सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द लास्ट पार्ट इट से टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई इक्वल सेवन टू पी एक्स प्लस पी वाई इक्वल ट्वेंटी एट माइनस क्यू वाई If the pair of equation has infinitely many solutions, so for infinitely many solution, we have a one over a two, b one over b two, then c one over c two. All are equal. Now, you can see here equation number two. You can see that it is not in the standard form. Q y must be here after p y. So I will bring q y to the left hand side. Equals twenty eight. So it will be two p x. What we can take common from the last two terms is y, and we are left with p plus q equals twenty eight. So this is my second equation. The first one is two x plus three y equals seven. The second one is two p x plus p y p plus q into y equals twenty eight. So the 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 ratios are all equal. So a one is two, a two is two p. B one is three, B two is P plus Q, and the last one is seven over twenty eight. Seven over twenty eight is one over four. So now we can even cut down two and two here, so it is one over P. So first I will be taking the first two ratios. So it will be one over P equals three P plus Q. So using cross multiplication. Multiplication we get p plus q equals three p, so it will be q equals three p minus p. So from this we get q as two p. Now using equal uh, using ratio two and three, so it will be three p plus q equals one over four. Now again using cross multiplication we get twelve equal e plus q so now you can see that we have two different equations now we need to find the value of p and q so from equation a you can see that we have the value of q as 2p so i will put this value into equation number b so it will be 12 equal p plus 2p so it will be 12 equals 3p so when we divide 12 with 3 Twelve and three, we get p as four. Now the value of q, we need to put it into equation a. So two into four is a. So p value is four, q value is a. So that's your answer for question number four. So that's all for question number four. Thank you for watching this video.